Shaw with a good start on the inside, but in the middle lanes it is De Silva and also Byrne. So De Silva with the Sri Lankan colours being now headed by Willis. Letitia Willis of Ringwood De Silva. It'll be the Sri Lankan De Silva taking the dip in the end there. Letitia Willis second. Third across the line would have been Hadakote, the junior from Sandringham. Even start, possibly in the middle lanes there. It might have been Romanoff of Frankston looking good. And closest to us, Becky Lim also moving well. But down the middle, Wang Lakutia and out wide from Athletics Essendon, it's Grandine. Grandine will take that win from Wang Lakutia and I think Sylvester out wide from Mornington Peninsula. But Alana Grandine there from Athletics Essendon takes out heat number two of the women's 100. Good starts. McLennan was the eye catching one in lane two. Next to her also Dingle Day. Now in the middle lanes, it's Keyless and Bernard's Rebecca Bain. Dingle Day out in front with Bain. Dingle Day. Bain will be Dingle Day from Sandringham. Just ahead of Keyless and Bernard. That is Bain. On the inside, Ella Tobin flew home strong with the other junior, Natasha Wood. So the uh, bookends there of the Lloyd Knight stable in one and eight, following closely there for third place behind our heat. Winner, Elizabeth Dingle Day, Sandringham Athletic Club. So Kayla Elvish with a strong start on the inside. And I didn't pick up there, that's Molly Wallace also. So a couple of strong para-athletes here involved. But out in front, it is our Melbourne University athlete, Eileen Forbes with a strong win from Kayla Elvish. Third across the line will be Galiza Connors. And Erin Garbler winding up the field there from Old Zavarians. Heat number four of the women's 100 metres.